snow school or what sometimes is called a happy camper down there is for the folks that are going to do remote research in Antarctica, they have to com complete some basic survival training and, and snow school. In the past, that had included kind of a, an overnight um, around McMurdo Station and, and near Scott Base and New Zealand Station, where you go with some folks from the U.S. Antarctic program that kind of train you in radio work, working with emergency stoves and kind of the emergency gear and survival bag that you get that is kind of a a one-size-fits-all bag that has everything in it you need if you get stuck in a bad storm or in the middle of nowhere and nobody can pick you up for a while. It's got your stove, your fuel, it's got food, tents, sleeping bags, radio. It's Each one of the survival bags typically comes with like one really trashy romance novel. Because the idea is if you bust it out and you have to use that thing, you're probably hunkered down in the tent in a storm waiting for weather to blow over. So you gotta have something to do, something to read. Despite all the, the rigors of work in Antarctica, the hardest thing really is kind of being away from family. Because we're down there during the austral summer when it's you know light 24 seven, which means we're down there in November, December, January, over the holidays, you know, three months away from you know your wife and your family. And that's, that's always tough. But in terms of recreation and, and doing things for fun, um, there's a lot of stuff available too. In, in past camps, we've set up volleyball nets out on the ice or uh, done kickball. Uh, this time around, the folks that were down there built a nice little cross-country ski trail that you could go and run or ski on a little bit in the downtime, play cards or um, board games, movies. One of the things that I was happy about this last trip that we were able to do is get a bunch of people together and uh, have a New Year's Day softball game. We went through a couple of iterations of making the, a softball that would actually work and not blow apart. Uh, and and also not freeze, but uh, it came together pretty well. We have it really good now in terms of how safe it is to do work down there, how good our equipment and clothing and communications gear is, and how easy we, it is to kind of stay in touch with folks and, and help facilitate getting our basic research done. So you, you definitely feel guilty and appreciative at the same time that you've got, you, you've got the benefit of all that those folks that have come before you. And I've, I've found it's, it's helpful when you're down there on a really cold day or if the weather's bad or something isn't going right and it's getting kind of crappy to, you know, step out of your own context for a second and think about, okay, what would it have been like to be me and, you know, on this mountainside in the trans Antarctic 50 years ago or 100 years ago? And then you just kind of think, yep, I should stop complaining now. <laughs>